Hey guys, it's Dr. Deuce from musictechtraining.com and I'm back again with some great music tech tips for you. You may have seen my recent videos on Logic Flex Pitch, the Isotope Nectar 2 Pitch Editor, Waves Tune plugin and Selemony's Melodyne. Those were simply introductory videos and now we're going to get more into the in-depth overviews showing you exactly how to use all of these uh, great plugins. The first of which is going to be Flex Pitch. So let's get right into it. So throughout the series, I'm going to be showing you a number of things. First of all, how to activate Flex Pitch. I'm going to give you an overview as to exactly what Flex Pitch does and how it relates to Flex Time in Logic. I'll demonstrate how to use it practically to tune vocals, to transpose vocals, as well as to transpose and tune other instruments not only for singing, but also for rap vocals too. And I'm sure you'll pick up one or two additional tips along the way that's going to help you in terms of your music production process. Okay, so the question is, what is Flex Pitch? Well, it's a powerful tool that was introduced in Logic Pro X or Logic 10. Now in Logic 9, when Logic 9 was released, they introduced a fantastic function called Flex Time. And Flex Time allowed you to manipulate audio in a very different way. We were able to stretch and compress audio in terms of time without affecting pitch. Um, this was really, really fantastic. And in Logic Pro X, the flex pitch function was added, which gave us even more flexibility and functionality. So you will be seeing throughout this series exactly how you can use the flex pitch function. But first of all, you need to make sure of a few things in order to activate and make flex pitch available to you. So the first thing you need to do is go to Logic Pro X, Preferences, Advanced Tools, and make sure that the Show Advanced Tools checkbox is checked. Okay. Without this being checked, you will not be able to uh, use the flex pitch or flex time function for that matter. Okay, so the very next thing we need is uh, some, some source material to work with. So I'm gonna play you this track that we recently wrote uh, called Rat Race, and it was written by myself and Carmen, and um, this will give you an idea as to our starting point. Another big shout out to Carmen for lending her vocal talents uh, for this production. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on this lead vocal. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, Isotope Nectar 2 plugged into this channel because I absolutely love this plugin. Um, I will be doing some uh, tutorials on this at a later date, but for now, just be aware that this is uh, plugged in and there are a number of, of modules selected currently. So I'm going to switch a few things off so that we can hear the raw vocal. Um, I'm going to take off the delay. In fact, I'll solo the track so you can hear what's going on. Like and then I'll switch a few things off. Cause I'm gonna be late. My boss ain't an easy man. What can I say? Okay, yeah. So I've just taken the reverb and the delay off and I'll just, I'll leave everything else in place. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit closer so we can have a closer look at the vocal region. So uh, the key command for that is command right arrow. Okay, so here's our vocal and the section of the vocal that we're working on is clearly visible in the window. Now, the point of this exercise is to tune up the vocal to address some of those notes which weren't exactly on point and also to maybe add some extra notes or harmonies and we'll get to that later on. 
um, just to kind of show you what is possible once the vocalist has left the studio and if you've got some ideas that you would like to add to the vocal, I'll be showing you exactly how you can go about this. <laughs> 